Hi everyone, today's video will be about removing boardware from the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini. Now this particular script will be tested on the GTI 9195 variant. Test it on your model at your own risk. So for those of you who are not aware what boardware means, it's basically a term made up by the users about the apps that manufacturers put on their phones. For example, Samsung Ads, Samsung Hub, uh, Samsung, uh, let's say, watch on video and whatever. So yeah, that is what some people find useless in their phone and they want to remove it. Many of these apps actually run in the background all of the time and they can somewhat slow down your phone. So basically what, basically what this script does is it wipes your phone clean removing all of these apps so now imagine your galaxy s4 mini at the moment being fast imagine it 10 times faster after using this script so the steps in doing this are quite easy but before you proceed i will i must warn you that you should create an android backup in case you're not happy with the results uh, there may be some apps removed for example you may want to keep s voice but it's removed and a few other things just the samsung keyboard and whatnot anyways create an android backup or backup your apps using titanium backup or some other software once you're done with everything download the zip file from the link in the video description to your sd card once it is downloaded you need to power off your phone so shut it down wait for it to completely power off and now once the phone is powered off hold the home button the power and the volume up at the same time You should see the blue letters here, indicating that you're booting into recovery mode. So just wait a few seconds and you'll be in recovery mode. So now once you're in recovery mode, choose the second option, install zip. Then choose, choose zip from SD card, but actually choose zip from external SD card. Choose the last option. Now it should list the zip files on your external SD card and here it is i9195 dbloat version 1 zip file. Simply select that, choose it and then finally choose yes to confirm. Now just wait a few seconds and it should say that install from SD card complete. Now basically press the back button until you see the first option being reboot system now which you take to the main menu. Simply choose this option and your phone will reboot so this thing sure removes a lot of things for example you can see how the TouchWiz Easy Home is gone you basically have the normal TouchWiz and this is just the launcher I have installed Nova Launcher anyways let's just have a quick look at the results so it appears that the weather widget is also gone let's have a look at the drawer and how clean it is so basically you have the most most needed Android types as you can see, the, uh, the camera, the gallery, the calculator, there still seems to be chat on, Samsung apps, Samsung link, watch on, you still got group play, but still as you can see it looks much cleaner now, all of the things have been removed, let's have a quick look at the memory, now as you can see the RAM, it now takes up less RAM than before. So yeah, like I said earlier, be sure to create an Android backup in case you're unhappy with the results. This surely wiped out a lot of apps from the phone as you can see. It should definitely feel a bit more faster now I suppose because a lot less apps will be running in the background. So yeah, check it out and leave your opinion in the comment section. This simple script was made by a member at the XD Developers Forum Scout BTN Etro or something of the sort. I'm not sure if I pronounced his name right, so sorry about that. Anyways, huge thanks to him. He claims that he constantly tested which app is needed and which not to carefully create the script in order to have a fully deep, load, deep loaded Samsung stock ROM. So that's about it. That's how you have to do in order to deep load your Samsung stock ROM. Hope this video helped you. If it did, Please hit the like button below and if you want to see more videos hit the subscribe button next to it. Once again thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.